Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. over a year into the Obama administration and already that word compromise has been heard too much. Yet when the news hit Monday night that the administration had agreed to a compromise that would see Congress vote on overturning Don't Ask, Don't Tell, hopes rose. There's still a long way to go to full equality in the military. Congress still has to vote and Republicans like John McCain, who previously said they were supporting repeal, now say they'll oppose. There is, as I mentioned, compromise. No congressional repeal will go into effect until after a Pentagon study hits the Hill December 1st. Only then will the president give an executive order to actually enact the reform, which he could do now. But still, in a world of baby steps, it seems like a stride. In this case, toward overturning a Clinton-era policy put in place after many presidential promises to the gay community. Obama has a chance at last to do the right thing. How did he get there? Pressure. While equality lovers are celebrating, remember those protesters in uniform chained to the White House fence when everybody told them to trust the president's word? The folks who confronted the president wherever he went? They brought us this far. And with any luck, they'll keep the pressure on to bring us a step closer to the promise of every person born equal. No compromise.